Greetings. I'm speaking to you from Ukraine. I am technically in Kiev, but this is more of the rural part of Kiev, so it feels like the countryside, but technically it is in the city. But anyway, let's move on to the topic at hand today, which is how to retire early. And there are three paths to early retirement that I will discuss in this video. So I wrote an article about this on medium.com. So I suggest you read my article and I will link it in the description below. And if you do have a Medium account, then I suggest you follow me on Medium. I think this is an important topic because retiring early will allow you to live life on your own terms and not have your life dictated by financial necessity. Because when you think about it, a lot of people's decisions in life is controlled by financial necessity. A lot of people take jobs they don't like that they're not passionate about. And a lot of people give up on their dreams and their goals that they had since childhood because they need to make money to support themselves, which is necessary, but there is also ways to retire early so that you can pursue your dreams and your goals. And I think most people retire in their 60s or 70s and retiring late really sucks because then most of your life is gone and you don't have your prime to really focus and pursue what you really desire in your life if financial considerations were not a factor. And of course there are some people who do enjoy their jobs and their careers and I think those are the lucky minority because most people if they for example won the lottery and don't have to work another day of their lives, they would most likely quit their jobs. And there is a small minority who are really passionate about what they're doing uh, career-wise, and they won't quit their jobs because they love their jobs, but I think that's a minority of people. But even if you are one of those people, I think it's better for you to do your job because you want to, rather than because you have to out of financial necessity. So this video will allow you to learn the paths to early retirement so that you can become financially free and achieve financial independence and not have to rely on a job and a salary. And when I'm talking about early retirement, I'm mostly talking about retiring in your 20s and 30s. But if you're older than that and you're watching this video, I think this video will still be relevant to you because it will enlighten you with ideas on how to retire as early as possible. So the first path through early retirement is to inherit a lot of money. And I won't delve too deeply onto this path because I think it's mostly out of people's personal control. But if you are one of the lucky ones to inherit enough money to retire early, then congratulations, your family has been financially successful and has passed on their wealth to you. I suggest you honor them by managing this wealth wisely so that you can pass on this wealth to your children and to future generations of your family. And you can do this by investing your money. And if you're passionate about different businesses or startups, you can invest in those businesses and startups and build your assets. Or just really not squander your money because that will cut your early retirement short and you won't have financial freedom anymore if you squander your money. So. Be wise about your money so that you can maintain your financial freedom and so that you can pass on your wealth to future generations. And I know these days a lot of people inherit money through trust funds, which means they get regular payments at intervals rather than inheriting the entire fortune of their families, which kind of um, makes it more safe for your family because you can't squander that wealth if you don't inherit everything at once. But I will still consider this as early retirement, as a path to early retirement, I mean, because you won't have to do anything out of financial necessity if your trust fund payments are big enough to allow you to live a comfortable life. The second path to early retirement is to make it big. So what do I mean by this? When I mean make it big, I mean making a lot of money all at once or over a short period of time. For example, winning the lottery is making it big. 
founding or co-founding a successful startup and being able to monetize that startup is making it big. And when it comes to making a lot of money over a short period of time, then a lot of front-loaded couriers allow you to do this. So a front-loaded courier is a courier that benefits or requires youth or physical ability, such as sports players, modeling, acting, etc. And you need to, or you benefit from being young to do these careers successfully. So when it comes to sports, a lot of sports stars make a lot of very lucrative contracts in their 20s and that allows them to gain enough wealth to retire early. Likewise, a lot of supermodels can land a lot of very high paying contracts that allow them to retire by their 30s or even earlier. And a lot of very successful actors can land roles that pay a fortune and that allows them to not have to worry about finances for the rest of their lives. So obviously this is very competitive and even when, if, even if you make the pros in sports or if you're a model or actor, most of these people in these careers don't make enough money to retire early. Only the most successful ones do. The sports stars, the supermodels, the A-list actors. Most of the people in these front-loaded careers end up having to work after their retirement. For example, a lot of sports star players become coaches and managers, a lot of models become designers and photographers, and a lot of actors become directors and producers, or they continue acting in roles that play the old character. So it's highly competitive when to make it big, but if you are able to do that, then this is a really great way to retire early and often it comes with fame and impact and status which is also great. The third path to early retirement is to build sources of passive income. I think this path is the most relevant to the most people because it's the most accessible. Not everyone can inherit so much money that they never have to work for the rest of their lives and not everyone can make it big early in life but almost everyone can acquire and build sources of passive income. So if you remember earlier in my video, I talked about trust fund payments and how that's basically getting regular payments without needing to work. So it's kind of like a salary without needing to work. And that's basically what passive income is. Passive income is income you get with little to no work. And examples include dividends from stocks or other securities, interest payments from bonds, real estate, you can have rental income from real estate, or if your real estate has natural resources or produces agricultural products, you can monetize that. And intellectual property is another example. If you write books, if you make films, if you make videos or music, then you can monetize those creations because those are intellectual property. Or if you invent and patent technology, you can monetize that for the rest of your life. And another example would be social media monetization programs. When you produce content online, you can monetize that as long as that content is still on those platforms. And a lot of social media platforms share revenue with you, such as YouTube. Another example would be owning businesses. If you build a business and hire other people to manage your business affairs, for you when your business gets bigger, then you can collect a profit without a lot of maintenance. A lot of people love passive income because it sounds like you don't have to work, but that is a bit misleading because passive income sources don't come to you for free. You either have to put in the time to build them or you have to put in the money to buy them. So the key here is to grow your sources of passive income so that they generate enough income for you to live comfortably because Let's face it, it doesn't take a lot to acquire a few stocks or even to write a book, but that doesn't mean that you'll generate enough income for you to sustain your lifestyle. So the key here is to build up the quality of your passive income sources so that together they can generate enough income for you to live comfortably or to live the lifestyle you want without needing to work at a job. 
So I hope this video helped you in learning about paths to early retirement. And again, I think the passive income path is the most relevant to the most people because it's the most accessible. And even if you inherit a lot of money or you make it big early in life, you can still build sources of passive income and that will guarantee that your money won't run out and it will also build your wealth and allow you to pass on your wealth to your children and to future generations of your family. So you can combine different paths to early retirement if you're lucky, but if you're someone who doesn't inherit enough money to retire or doesn't make it big early in life, then that's fine because you can still acquire and build sources of passive income. It, take, it takes time to build these sources or it takes money to acquire these sources, but it will help you in the long run. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on Medium and read my articles there because I'll be writing about the same topics I talk about on YouTube. And the written format can be helpful to a lot of people because with videos you can get distracted by reading the comments but with reading you are more focused and that can be helpful. So once again thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.